بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين اللهم صل وسلم على نبينا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم السلام عليكم I would like to welcome all of you in this class in this uh, session on using open educational resources OER for academic activities I'm Professor Mazharul Islam. Um, currently, I'm the director of the IQAC, Institutional Quality Assurance Cell at Arsenal University of Science and Technology, Bangladesh. Okay, so today um, we have, um, this is a, a very, I mean, um, quite an exciting topic, very important topic, OER. I hope you guys will benefit a lot. There are certain, session learning outcomes. I'm hoping that after the completion of this session, you guys will be able to explain CC licenses, CC licenses, Creative Commons licenses. Also, you should be able to find suitable open educational resources. You will be able to attribute different types of open educational resources adapt different types of OER appropriately, select an appropriate license for a work containing resources with different types of Creative Commons licenses. So these are the five session learning outcomes. Okay, let's start with a brainstorming session in Slido. You guys are familiar with Slido. In Slido, uh, the code is 444. And in this brainstorming session, my question is, what is meant by open educational resources, OER? Let me see what you guys already know about OER. Yeah, and after seeing that, uh, I'll, um, I'll deliver my presentation accordingly. So this is kind of my pre-assessment about your prior knowledge about this very topic, OER. Okay, so let me see your uh, feedback. Excellent. I'm receiving, um, I mean, valuable inputs. Like um, one one of you wrote, um, using educational resources without anyone's permission. Uh, I'll try to clarify that. Uh, not necessarily free study materials. Yes, correct. Open educational resources include text, media, and other digital assets that are freely accessible. Awesome, and openly licensed. Yeah, open license, like that's the concept, open license, and can be used for teaching, learning, and assessment, as well as research. Okay, open, edu open educational resources that are available for free, resources that does not have any copyright. Not, that's not true. You will see um, they are, there are certain type of uh, copyright notices are there, but those are open type, yeah. Freely accessible resources released under open licenses. Okay, yeah. Multimedia resources. Yeah, there are multimedia OERs which contain multimedia. Freely accessible educational text, graf graphics, etc. Correct. Yeah, these are teaching, learning, and resource uh, research material in any medium. Yeah, they they are available in different types of mediums. Yeah, correct. Uh, in any medium, easily accessible resources any type of educational material that are in public domain. Uh, yes, many of them are in public domain. Some of them are not, as you will see later on. Uh, which resources are easy to get? Resources everyone can explore. Yes, very good. Uh, publicly accessible digital learning materials that can be used freely and redistributed at no cost, okay? Yeah, and they can be printed material as well, by the way. Yeah, digital, mostly they are digital, but they, are, they can be printed material as well, yeah, educational contents, which um, is free of charge. Okay, awesome, very nice. I mean, I'm really happy to see this uh, feedback. Okay, now let's see, let me introduce um, this OER. Okay, open educational resources are basically teaching and learning materials that you may freely use and reuse at no cost. Yeah, freely use and reuse at no cost. And you guys, some of you wrote this explicitly. Unlike copyrighted resources, OER 
have been authored or created by an individual or organization that chooses to retain few, if any, ownership rights. You know, certain rights, they have certain rights, especially the attribution. Attribution is always there in CC by licenses. In all of them, in all of them um, uh, except CC0, you have attribution. And so the, the, you need to attribute. Usually shared through Creative Common license and uh, licenses. And today we'll discuss about that, inshallah. Yeah, so benefits, yeah, they can be used with proper attributions without contacting the copyright owner. Without contacting the copyright owner, that's a huge benefit. So when you see that certain material is available with this, um, uh, C is through one of the CC uh, Creative Commons licenses, you can just use it with proper attribution. You don't have to contact the copyright owner. That's the beauty. It's really awesome. Yeah. Also freely available and they save time because they're readily available and improve the quality of works yeah, and more. There are so many benefits of open educational resources. I, I would like to define OER according to UNESCO. UNESCO is quite serious about OER. Yeah, UNESCO for a long time, they're really serious about um, um, OER. What does it mean UNESCO? Who can tell me? Well, what's the meaning of UNESCO? So yes, UNESCO is United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization. Yeah. So this is one of the UN bodies. So according to them, um, the definition of OER is learning, teaching and research materials in any format, in any format and medium that reside in the public domain or are copyright that have been released under and open under an open license. Yeah, that's the issue of open license that permit no cost access, reuse, repurpose, adaptation, and redistribution by others. Yeah, these are the elements. So it has open license no cost access, reuse, repurpose, adaptation, and redistribution. So this is what they're saying, UNESCO is saying, okay? So what are the types of OER? It can be documents, images, infographics, audios, videos, full university courses, yeah, as you will see today, inshallah. The, the MIT open courseware, I mean, there are full courses available through CC, um, through a CC uh, Creative Commons um, license. So uh, there are diversified resources that are available. This is the so-called five R's in open uh, resources, OERs, five R's, like they should, I mean, you can retain it. So when you have, when you obtain uh, open educational resources, you can retain them, you can reuse them, you can revise them, you can remix them, you can redistribute them. Yeah. However, it will depend upon the type of license you are using. Not all the license will permit all of these things. Yeah. So you should be careful. You should be careful. There are different types of licenses. Not all of them are supporting five R's. Yeah. Okay. Today, now, now focus on this thing from this class. I mean, session. What you are, um, what you'll gain. First and foremost, you should know, you should know, um, you should understand the Creative Commons licenses. That's the first thing. Yeah? And we'll try to cover this here. Yeah, it should be clear to what are the different types of CC BY licenses. That's the first thing you should understand. Then you should find OER for a work. How you'll find, we'll discuss about it. Finding OER. That is one uh, section. I'll show you how to find OER. Then after you find open educational resources, yeah, uh, you'll have, uh, when you use it, you must attribute that OER properly. Yeah, OER, I mean, this, that is very important, attribution. Yeah, attribution. 
So I will tell you how to attribute. Fourth thing, fourth step is you need to adopt appropriate types of CC Creative Commons licenses. So you might you in usually what will happen in any work, you will be getting different types of resources with different types of CC licenses. And there are certain restrictions as, as we'll discuss, certain restrictions. So I will tell you, I'll show you this uh, adapters chart. Using that chart, you'll be able to see whether you can mix um, different types of resources properly or not. I mean, whether you are allowed or not, we'll see that. And finally, when you, I mean, you'll be using different types of open educational resources, and then you must assign a license as well. You must assign a license for your work as well. <clears throat> How to do that? We'll see. We'll see. So you can say that's the, uh, in today, th that's the kind of climax. That's the cl kind of climax that after, I mean, you collect different types of OERs, you use it in your work, at the end, you'll have to assign a license for your work as well. And what should be that license? We'll discuss that inshallah. Yeah. So is it clear? I mean, what is the goal from today's class session? Is it clear to all of you? Yeah. So focus on this thing, these five things, these five things. Yeah. Okay. Clear, guys? Yeah. yeah. Yes, sir. Inshallah. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. We'll um, now we'll proceed. First, we'll discuss about Creative Commons Commons licenses. Even before we go to Creative Commons licenses, let us discuss about open license. What does it mean? Again, according to UNESCO, according to UNESCO, the definition of op open license is this is a license that respects the intellectual property, IP, intellectual property rights of the copyright owner and provides permissions granting the public the rights to access, reuse, repurpose, adapt, and redistribute educational materials. That's the way UNESCO is defining <clears throat> an open license. Okay, so this is what they, and the most popular licensing system is Creative Commons licenses, usually denoted by the CC, CC, Creative Commons licenses, CC. Yeah, remember the CC licenses. Sure, the short form is CC. Okay, and it has three layers, three layers. There, the CC, there are different types of CC licenses. They have three layers. It's legal code, human readable, even machine readable. So there are three layers in Creative Commons licenses. And just remember that there are four Creative Commons license elements, four, you are seeing them, yeah? This is one, this is one of them. Let's say one, two, three, four, yeah? So you guys, I mean, I know some of you are already familiar with this. What is this element? Who can tell me this one? One. What is this one? What does it mean? What is this one? This is your CC BY license. BY. BY. CC BY. Attribution. Yeah. This one, number two, is share alike. SA. Share alike. This one, number three. Anybody knows what is this? There is a dollar sign. Non-commercial. Thank you, non-commercial. Yeah, and this equal sign, what does it mean? Anybody? ND. Yeah. Non-derivative. Yeah, no derivative. I mean, you, can, you cannot, when you see this equal sign, you cannot do anything with that. It's quite restricted. Yeah, quite restricted. Yeah, so um, this is what you should do with this ND licenses. Yeah. Okay. There is another thing you should know. There, 
there are certain resources which are available in the public domain when and usually known by cc0 license cc0 when you see public domain uh, they're freely available and uh, when you use them you don't have to take permission they're totally open uh, and as far as i know you don't have to even cite them but it is recommended that you cite it is recommended that you cite it's a courtesy it's a moral obligation that you should cite even if you're using resources from the public domain usually the U u.s government sites their resources are in the public domain like nasa resources from nasa and other government u.s government agencies they have lots of resources available those are in the public domain by and large okay now there are six types of cc licenses six types yeah this is your the first one as i said you are seeing this cc by license yeah, number one cc by followed by cc by sa so now you know by is attribution sa is what sa what is sa share alike share alike share alike and then cc by nd yeah cc by nd so you are non-derivative yeah okay okay then cc by nc non-commercial thank you and then it, this is this now it's becoming complex cc by buy is common see in all the six licenses you have buy so whenever you you're using cc uh, the cc licenses you'll have to attribute you'll have to give the attribution that is a must and then you have additional things um then here you have nc and sa what does it mean nc and sa so it is non commercial and also share, share alike and this the last one nc and nd that's the I mean, so among these what do you think which one i mean which one is the most open not all of them are open in the i mean the same sense i mean they are the rights are different which one is the most open one among these six bye bye exactly that's the best one yeah no restriction no restriction at all so this is really the best one in terms of openness which one is the most restrictive one really restrictive which one the non derivative ndnc this one is really yeah uh, very restrictive yeah quite restrictive yeah followed by this one followed by this one so among these actually these two are really i mean in terms of openness the cc by and cc by sa they are actually the most i mean open types of uh, cc licenses the other ones um they they can be um, i mean they are restrictive yeah they are quite i mean they can be restrictive so as you can see i mean using cc by license you can make things quite restrictive however however even if it's cc by nc nd that resource can be i mean downloaded can be shared however you cannot change that you cannot do any derivative work and also you cannot sell it for commercial purposes the cc by nc nd so uh, even the most strict one by nc nd that can be openly accessed and can be shared yeah downloaded but cannot sell that or you cannot do i mean any derivative works is it clear what i'm trying to say through the six types of cc licenses clear yeah okay so that's about cc licenses now let's discuss how to find oer there are some i mean excellent resources like this um, creativecommons.org they have nice features uh, inshallah i'll show you uh, examples so creative commons this is quite useful and oer commons very nice google i mean when you are searching images i mean for the students i think uh, this you might find 
this is the most useful one. I mean, I'm guessing, yeah? For finding, usually for your thesis or for your um, class works, term papers, usually you need images, right? This, this is an excellent source. I mean, this uh, Google Advanced Search. Using Google Advanced Search, you can find different types of um, um, open educational resources. This is really quite useful. Remember this for finding images. And also this find OER, this is quite, you'll, if you go there, you will see it, it has listed lots of different types of OER repositories and things. Even in YouTube, by the way, even in YouTube, you can um, search for uh, I mean, resources with Creative Commons licenses. There is a filter, I'll show you. I will we'll go through demonstration. And then also you can get uh, things from Flickr. Anybody, are you familiar with Flickr? What can you get from Flickr? Anybody? Flickr. You can get lots of images. Also you have Pixabay and all those things. Uh, Vimeo, uh, it's like YouTube. It has uh, Creative Commons resources as well. Okay, Let, let's go through um, demonstration. So this is CC search, yeah, search in creativecommons.org. This is quite useful for searching different types of resources. See, here they have written, browse over 500 million images. Subhanallah, 500 million images available for use available for use by the way when you are searching any resource you can click this use commercially modify or adapt by the way when you are clicking this you are playing with you uh, certain types of resources yeah yeah if i click this too what do you think what will be the cc licenses of this material if i click this too any idea what type of resources you, you are expecting when you are clicking these two? Uh, and CND? No, 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 no. No, it's main, when you are not restricting, but if you don't click this, because modify or add up, this is related to ND, yes. This commercial, this is related to which one? Which license element? Use com commercial thing? NC. NC. So if you don't check this, you will get NC and ND. But if you click this, then you won't get NC. If you click this, then you will not get ND. Is it clear? So mostly you will get by CC by and CC by SA, share alike. Yeah. Now let's say wind turbine. Let, let, let me um, search wind turbine. Yeah, let's see what you get. Yeah. Lots of resources will come now. Yeah, and here you can see now these images. What about this resource? What is the license type for this one? Who can tell me? See, here you can see the license type. What, what is this resource? Buy and share alike. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Buy and share alike. So you, you're getting uh, this buy and share alike and you can select any one of these and yeah? let's say let's select this one so this is a resource yeah and see another thing in cre uh, creative common search feature you will be able to get the attribution from here see credit the creator so you need to do attribution and we'll talk about attribution later again, but see from here, you can get it directly in rich text or in HTML or in plain text. In many cases, you'll copy the plain text, copy, and you can use that. See, suppose you're using this image. Okay, you download this. And also you, you should download this uh, attribution, which is in plain text. Yeah, so you copy and then, uh, just below the image, you can just copy this. So here you can see uh, wind turbines by this, um, the license with CC by SA2 and all this information, which is, which is available. So that's a nice feature in this um, Creative Commons uh, search 
results. Yeah, it, it's giving you the attribution as well. This is very good. Then let us see OER Commons. This is also very good thing. Here you have additional things like you can select the subjects, educational level, and you can select certain repositories, yeah, certain sources. You can even select certain sources. Yeah. So this is also a nice um, I mean, place to search open educational resources. And as I told you guys, Google Advanced Search. Google Advanced Search, uh, suppose wind turbine. And then there is something called usage rights. See, this, this last one, usage rights. Not filtered by license, that's the default. You click here and then you have different options free to use or share, free to use or share even commercially, free to use, share or modify, free to use, share or modify even commercially. Among these, which one is the, the most, most open? What do you think? Which one is the least restrictive one? What do you think among all these options? The last one last one actually yeah the last one so if you select this filter then you will get resources which you can use you can share you can modify so nd is not there and nc is not there right so wind turbine go there advanced search now you're getting different types of resources and you can select one of them it will be under that category yeah see you can go there and you can see that so that's another thing that is another another this find oer you, here you will see lots of repositories. Also, it's very useful, by the way. I mean, there are certain projects which are for books. Yeah, even see YouTube, Vimeo, TED, uh, Open Video Project, Khan Academy, Internet Archive, all these. And also open course materials. I told you, you can get um, course materials as well. These are the course materials. These are open video and audio open textbooks so these are all the sources for textbooks open images so th this uh, find oer this is also a very nice place see this o mit open courseware this is extremely useful for you guys yeah mit open courseware yeah. okay then um, in youtube youtube you have filter when you click filters then under features you have creative commons you have creative commons okay so you can select that so i i want videos with uh, which uh, which will be on wind turbines so wind turbine that these are my keywords and i have restricted creative commons then i can just search it so that, that's really very nice feature then i'm getting these videos yeah you can go when you go to these videos, you can see that these are shared with, um, see, you can see the attribution and all those stuff. Yeah. Anyway, so these are the OER resources. Yeah, this is how you find OER resources from certain useful links. Yeah, any question or comment about these uh, sources? Yeah. Okay. No, so, so you know what are the CC licenses, you know how to find OER. Now, when you download, you need to attribute. Attribution is must. Attribution is must. So that is buy your buy. Yeah. So how to attribute? Remember this, T-A-S-L. Remember T-A-S-L. T, T means title. A, author. S, source, and L is link, yeah, or license. Actually, it, rather, it should be a license, brother. Yeah. It should be license. And in that license, it can uh, link as well. Usually, we give link of the license as well. So remember, this is actually should be the license, yeah, okay. So there are ways um, to choose licenses. Yeah, there, I mean, um, 
Creative Commons has one website where you can go and um, you can select licenses. So choose a license. If you go to creativecommons.org slash choose, then you get this um, website where you can choose, I mean, select your license. So for example, a license features, suppose you are selecting certain license. It, it is asking you this question, allow adaptations of your work to be shared. You are clicking yes, yes. So it can be shared. You have other options as well. No, yes, as long as others share all this. So if you don't, if you just select yes, then this is, which, which type of license is this? The selected licenses right now is showing these icons. What is this? Which license I, is this? CC BY, thank you, thank you. CC BY license. If I click this, what will be this license? What do you think? If I say no, I'm not allowing another person to adapt. What will be the license? If I click this, if I click no, if I'm not allowing adaptation, anybody, what do you think? What will be the license? Non-derivative. ND, yeah, ND. That is your ND sign, right? No derivatives, no derivatives. If I give this, yes, as long as others share alike, what will be the license? What do you think? If I click this, any idea? If I say yes, I will adopt, allow adaptation. However, whoever is using that, he or she should share alike. What will be the type of license? Okay. Actually, that will be your CC by SA. So attribution share alike. Okay. You have another question here. Allow commercial uses of your work? The answer is yes. If you say yes, yeah, fine. You are not seeing anything. If I click no, what will happen? If I click no? Sorry, NC. Thank you. Thank you. If you click no, then that is your NC. That is the most restric restrictive. See here, it is giving a comment. This is not a free culture license. So Creative Commons is telling you, this is not a free culture license. The, which one will be free culture license? What do you think? Which one will be the most free? When so you just, by. Yes, when you are allowing everything, CC BY, then that is your, uh, the most open one. Yeah, CC BY, yeah, CC BY license. Yeah, let me reset. Yeah. So this is your CC BY license. When you, you are allowing others to adapt and also you are allowing commercial use, okay? Even if you are using this option, still it's saying that the, this is a free culture license. So a CC by SA, it is considered, I mean, in this, in this realm, free culture license, okay? So remember that. And there is another excellent website from Open Washington. You can do your TSL, yeah? You can uh, type your, the title of the resource, the author TA, yeah? And you can give the URL of the resource, URL of the author, so that is your TAS, S is there, and you, that is your L. Remember I told you TASL? So um, if you use Open Washington, then you can, you can, I mean, get your license. I mean, TASL will be there. So this is your T, this is your A, TA, and where is my source? S. Where is the S? Who can tell me? This is your S. You can give the source URL. That's your S. And where is my L? License. This is my license. TSL. So using Open Washington, easily you can um, 
I mean, uh, attribute a resource nicely. Yeah, attribute a resource very nicely. Okay. Now, let me show you. Let's say I want to, I want to cite this Open Washington itself. Open Washington itself. How, what should I do? What should I do? What is the title of this thing? What is the title of this thing? If you want to, I mean, use this. So here first you'll have to title. In some, some sites, however, some sites, you will see that that resource doesn't have any title. For example, for this, suppose you want to cite this. See, this web page is under which license? Which license? By CC by. CC by. So you need you need a title. Yeah. So what what will be the title of your thing? In fact, here you don't have any title. Sometimes in certain websites, yeah, you don't have any clear cut title. Okay. Who is the author here? Who is the author? Open Washington. And by the way, you can you can use this resource. That is your URL. See, when you are typing this, this attribution is generated here. Yeah. If you don't give any title, um, and by default, it's coming like this. Yeah, this work. Yeah. So here you can. Okay, I get it. You can. You can. Um, you can uh, type this. Open. Open. Attribution. Yeah. Open attribution builder. Yeah. Is that that's the title? We can. I can use this as the title. Open. Attribution. Builder. Yeah. I'm using this as the title. This is the link. This is the Open Washington. Uh, you can give additional uh, URL for Open Washington. Maybe that's the title for Open Washington, the main page. You can give that URL here. Yeah. And then, what is what should be the license here? It is shown here, CC BY. So I'll select CC BY here. Yeah. Now I have this attribution here ready, ready for me. So I'll just copy this and I can paste it. Yeah. Open Attribution Builder by Open Washington is licensed under CC BY 4. Yeah. And um, I mean, if you paste this thing in PowerPoint or in rich text, then the link, link should come. See, these are links. The links are shown or in HTML. You can get it in HTML as well. Yeah, you can get this in HTML. See, if you copy this, you can um, uh, pay, paste this thing in uh, um, in websites. Okay, so is it clear? This the issue of uh, attribution clear? Yeah, I want your uh, <laughs> I mean uh, voice clear. How to give attributions? Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you. Okay, now the next step. That is straight cut. Okay, you are you have got your resources OER. Now you need to add up. Always refer to this adapters chart. This is called the adapters chart. I took it from this resource. Okay, tell me. This is I have I took this resource from here. Do you think I have followed that TASL thing? TASL. What, what is my T? Who can tell me? What is my T here? So understanding open educational resources. Excellent. This is my T. Understanding open educational resources. What is my A? So that is T. What is my A? So Mr. N. Butcher and A. Moore. N. Butcher and A. Moore. Okay. That is my A. Okay, what's the source? This is the source. 
What is my L license? This is the license, L. This is the source, TSL. And also additionally, if they have certain restrictions, you should mention that as well. In that book, in that resource, they have mentioned this copyright thing. So I have also included that copyright 2015 by the Commonwealth of Learning. Yeah, they mentioned that. So that's why I included that. So do you think I have cited, I have attributed this resource properly? Yeah. So I have used TSL. Now in this adapters chart, they are saying you have different types of resources. Resources from public domain, yeah, public domain, CC BY, BY SA, BY NC, BY ND, BY NC SA, and BY NC ND. Here you can see the resources from public domain can be mixed with all these types. So public domain resource can be mixed with public domain, BY, SA, NC, NCSA, but not with ND, see? Because ND, whenever you have ND, that cannot be mixed. See, this column, only cross signs, only cross signs. Nothing can be mixed with ND, nothing, nothing. Okay, when you have CC BY, it's pretty much same like PD. When you, when you have CC BY SA, yeah, then this is a little bit restrictive. If you have CC by SA, that can be mixed with public domain, CC by, yeah, CC by, and then CC by SA only, only these four types, nothing else. You cannot mix a CC by SA with CC by NC or CC by NC SA, no, you cannot. So this is called the adapters chart. Whenever, whenever you are mixing different types of resources, you should consult this adapters chart. Now, so you know how to mix. After you get different types of resources, you need to select a license for your work as well. Inshallah, later on, uh, we'll discuss about one particular example. Yeah, Whenever you have a source from a public domain, public domain, you can select any one of these licenses for PD, public domain. For CC BY, you can select all of them except PD, except PD, public, because CC BY is not ND, right? CC BY is not ND. When you have NC, see, now it's more restrictive. You can select only CC BY NC, CC BY NC ND, NC SA, only these three types. If you have CC by NC ND, I mean, you cannot adapt at all. So you, it should not be in here at nothing. Yeah, you cannot adapt any CC by ND, NC ND or ND. So they, you, you don't have anything here. If you have CC by NC SA, the only type of license should be CC by NC SA. If you have CC by SA, the only type should be CC by SA. Remember this. Remember this. This is very important especially for this one, this one and this one. You should pay special attention. They are quite restrictive in terms of your license, adapters license, okay? Any question or comment regarding this uh, adapters license? Okay, if not, then we are done with this, I mean, the process, what you should do. Let me take a quiz very quickly. Suppose I have a, this is my first question. I, I, I'll show you the resource. And inshallah, you will see this, uh, some of you, those guys who took, I mean, who are taking uh, aerodynamics, inshallah, you'll see the slide uh, as um, in, the, in, your, um, in your course later on, inshallah. So in this slide, I have used resources from public, doma public domains and there certain resources with CC by NCSA licenses. Yeah. So what I've done, these aerodynamics lecture slides, um, um, the resources, is from, resources are from MIT OpenCourseWare. Yeah, MIT OpenCourseWare has this license, CC by NC SA. Then another resource from Free Aviation Administration's Pilot's Handbook, 
of aeronautical knowledge. You can see the links here. And this is in public domain, public domain. From NASA, this is in public domain as well. Okay, now I have a question. Are we allowed to mix resources with public domain and CC by NCSA? Are we allowed? This is a question to you guys. Tell me, um, how many of you think it's allowed? I mean, raise your hand. I want to see. Raise your hand if you, if you have the answer. Am I allowed to do this? Raise your hand. So Raihan is saying yes. Azizul is saying yes. Yeah. Also, I'm seeing other hands. Yeah. What about the rest? No idea. Okay, Raihan, why? What's the reason? Raihan? Sir, as we have the public domain and the share alike. Okay, based on what? I mean, in order to take this decision, do you have any tool or any, any other resource? Okay, Azizul? Should you consult anything before you answer this question? Yeah, it's always a good idea to consult. Adapters chart, adapters chart. So you have things from public domain, public domain, and another one is CC by NCSA. Yeah, so public domain and CC by, so public domain can be mixed with CC by NCSA, see, it's allowed, no problem, no problem, you can do that. If you go to the, uh, this adapters chart, you can see that. And also you can either look here or you can look here, CC by NCSA, can you mix this with public domain? Yes, you can, you can. So what is the answer? What is the answer? The answer is yes, you can, you can. Okay, I have another question. This time for the same thing, the question is what should be the license for this document? What should be the license for this document? Who wants to answer this question? Anybody? What should be the license? In order to take this decision, you need to go to adapters license, this, this uh, figure. So what is the decision? What is the decision? Anybody? What should be the license? Yes, Azizul. No, no, you'll have to understand this thing. When you have CC by NCSA, yeah, CC by NC. So your original work is you have this, your license will be from here, only this, only this. Okay. So your origin, if you're if in your work, if you have only things from PD, only from public domain, yes, then you can select all of this. But in your, um, one of the, even if you have one resource, one resource from here, CC by NCSA, you'll have to select this license. Same way, if you have even one resource with CC by SA, what should be the license? CC by, CC by yes. Is it clear? Is it clear? Yeah. So this is pretty much what I wanted to discuss. And now just a summary, quick summary that today, I mean, we discuss different types of CC by licenses. Yeah. We have four elements, CC by, share alike, NC, ND. And you mix them and you have six types of CC by licenses, you use them, yeah, you use them. Then in order to find OER, there are different search engines and for finding images, Google Advanced Search is quite useful. Even if you're 
if you, you are trying to find videos, you can go to YouTube, you can use the filters. Yeah, Creative Commons feature in the filters and you'll be able to search um, videos with Creative Commons licenses. And for attribution, you should remember this thing. Yeah, title, author, source, license. Yeah, this uh, TASL, the, you should always remember TASL. For adaptation, always remember to use adapters chart. Yeah, and for selecting a license for your work, you should consult the adapters license chart. Yeah, this is pretty much what I wanted to say. I just want to show you the resource. I mean, uh, the, the final resource, which I mean, in that example, in that example, I showed you one resource. This is that resource. Yeah? This is that thing. And uh, this image is taken from Federal Aviation Administration Public Domain. And see, I have given this, this license. Yeah? CC by NCSA. NCSA. What MIT has prescribed. Yeah? And then I have these resources. Yeah? And see how I have cited this thing. In MIT's website, they are in fact telling me how to cite their uh, their resource. Uh, let me show you. So I, I took um, resources from this course, MIT course. There is one link, cite this course. If you click that, it is telling you what should be the attribution. What should be the attribution you can get from MIT's website. Then you can simply paste that and use it. Yeah, so this is what I have done. Yeah. I am following their uh, what is prescribed by them. Additionally, I am also giving the URL of the document. That's the something additional. So this is what I've done. These resources are from uh, public domain, from the pilot's handbook. Yeah. So this is from NASA. Yeah. So what I'm trying to demonstrate here, you can get rich, good quality resources from these um, respected sources, yeah, which are respected globally yeah so with this uh, i'd like to end uh, today's uh, presentation on oer uh, thank you very much um, for your uh, for your participation fiamanilla thank you very much salam